Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's essential for every Python developer, file handling in Python. Why do we even need file handling? Well, when you're working with real-world applications, you often need to store data permanently, whether it's logs, user data, or any form of information that needs to be read or written to a file. This is where file handling in Python comes into play. Python provides built-in functions and modules that make it super easy to work with files. We can read from, write to, append, and even manipulate files with just a few lines of code. Let's start with the basics, opening a file. In Python, the open function is the gateway to file handling. It allows us to open a file and perform operations like reading, writing, or appending. Here's how it works. The open function takes two main arguments, file name, the name of the file you want to open, and the mode in which you want to open the file. Let's go over these modes in detail. R, for read mode, opens the file for reading. This is the default mode. If the file doesn't exist, it will throw an error. W, for write mode, opens the file for writing. If the file already exists, it will truncate or clear the file. If the file doesn't exist, it will create a new one. A, for append mode, opens the file for appending. It won't clear the file, but will add new data to the end. If the file doesn't exist, it will create a new one. R plus, for read and write mode, opens the file for both reading and writing. If the file doesn't exist, it will throw an error. Now that we know how to open a file, let's talk about reading from it. Python provides several methods to read the contents of a file. Read method. This reads the entire content of the file into a single string. Using read, you can read the entire file, but be careful if you're dealing with large files, as this can consume a lot of memory. Read line method. This reads a single line from the file. If you only need to read a line at a time, read line is your go-to method. Read lines method. This reads all the lines in the file and returns them as a list of strings. Read lines is useful when you want to work with each line individually, but prefer to load them all at once into a list. Next up, let's talk about writing to a file. Just like reading, Python makes it easy to write to files using the write and write lines methods. Write method, this writes a string to the file. The write method will add the string, hello world, to the file. If the file doesn't exist, it will be created. If it does exist, it will be overwritten. Write lines method. This writes a list of strings to the file. The write lines method allows you to write multiple lines at once. Just make sure that each string in your list ends with a new line character if you want them to appear on separate lines. You may notice that when we used write and write lines method, it was overwriting the existing file content. What if you want to add data to an existing file without overwriting it? That's where the append mode comes in. With the append mode, anything you write will be added to the end of the file, leaving the existing content intact. You might have noticed that after every file operation, we call file.close. This is crucial. Closing a file ensures that all changes are saved and resources are freed up. Forgetting to close a file can lead to data loss or corrupted files. But there's an even better way to handle this, using a with statement. This automatically closes the file for you when you're done. Using the with statement is considered a best practice because it makes your code cleaner and safer. So far, we've dealt with text files, but Python also allows you to work with binary files, which are files that contain non-text data like images or executable files. To open a file in binary mode, you simply add a B to your mode string. Here I have one SVG image of a web browser. In this code, we are first reading the file content and then writing it to the new file with new prefix. As we can see, it created a new file with the same content. Working with binary files is similar to working with text files, but remember that you'll be dealing with byte objects instead of strings. Sometimes, you might need to navigate within a file. Maybe you want to skip a few bytes or go back to the beginning. Python provides the seek and tell methods for this. Tell method returns the current position of the file pointer. As we just open a file, the current position will be at zero. Seek method moves the file pointer to a specific position. In this code, we seek the current position to 10, which means it will skip nine characters and start reading the file from the 10th character. As we can see in the output, it skipped the six characters of the first line and three characters from the second line. 
These methods are particularly useful when working with large files or when you need to read or write at a specific location in a file. File operations can be risky. What if the file doesn't exist? What if there's an issue during reading or writing? That's where exception handling comes in. Here we're trying to open a file which does not exist. So, it will throw a file not found error. By using try and accept blocks, you can handle potential errors gracefully and ensure your program doesn't crash unexpectedly. Let's put everything we've learned together in a practical example. Imagine you're building a logging system that writes logs to a file every time an event occurs in your application. In this example, we open log file in append mode and write a time-stamped log entry every time an event occurs. This is a simple but powerful way to keep track of what's happening in your application. Let's try to log something. After running this code, we can see two logs of open a file in read and write mode in the log file. Before we wrap up, let's discuss some best practices for file handling in Python. Always close your files, or better yet, use a with statement. Handle exceptions. Always anticipate potential errors. Use the write mode. Choose the correct mode depending on whether you want to read, write, or append. Be cautious with large files. Reading large files into memory can cause issues. Consider reading in chunks or line by line. Work with binary files carefully. Remember that binary files deal with bytes, not strings. And that's a wrap. We've covered a lot of ground today, from opening and reading files to writing, appending, and even working with binary data. File handling is a fundamental skill in Python, and with these techniques, you'll be well-equipped to handle files in your own projects. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth Python tutorials. And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding!